have this slow start, but I might just think that they could just peak at the right time rather than from too early and then fade away towards the end. So it could be a blessing in disguise. Let's see what Don Beholden they have to offer as far as their starting lineup is concerned. Damien Hyde is in goal. Ricardo Thomas, Dane Samuel, Sheboy Watkin, and Saniki Burton, the back four in the middle of the park. Fabian McCarthy, Shaquin Powell, and Nikoi Christian, the skipper. Behind striker Stephen Barnett, Peter McGregor, and Cardell Benbow. Yeah, it's interesting. I, I'm looking forward to see a, a 4 4 3 system here to be employed by uh, this unit. As I said, Nicole Christian right in behind McGregor there as the creator. And I'm looking forward to this young striker, McGregor, continuing where he left off last season. He was really a handful most of the times, and I expect him to have a decent season. What our starting lineup up next? They'll have Kimar Foster, of course, in goal. They'll also have a back four of Zane Hilton, Damian Bins, Manny Cockins, and Javain Linton, the 19 year old who makes his first start. A player from Tarrant High in the middle of the park, Shamar Booth, Ramon Howell, Donato Thomas, and Shaquille Brackford, with Kenmore Howell playing uh, right behind Devroy Gray, who has two goals to his name so far this season. And this Waterhouse team will be countering this 4-3-3 with a 4-4-2. I wouldn't be surprised to see a diamond in the middle of the park there with Thomas and Howell being asked to tuck in to counter the three-man midfield of Dumby Holden. And up front, Bradford playing as an alternate. Nil. Waterhouse, nil. As we take a look at the full-time highlights. Barnett out wide, keeping that one in play. Does well to get by Linton and tries to set up McGregor. McGregor over the top. Then there was Benbo. Across the face of goal. He was looking to find the far corner. McGregor. Well, he probably thinking that it was too far in front of him. Then Ramon Howell. Trying to bend that one in, but took a deflection, went wide of the mark, went for a corner kick. And then Christian, he doesn't score a lot, especially from outside the box. That one going wide. And then McGregor's header punched over the top by Kemar Foster. And the chances kept coming. Waterhouse grew into the game. Thomas. Looking at the back post and Shaquille Bradford would want to do over there. That was Waterhouse's biggest chance of the game. Ended nil all, didn't it? Don Bolden with 11 shots, just two on target. Waterhouse was just one shot on target from here. Nine overall efforts, 26 fouls committed in this game. And the yellow cards were flashed, you know. Four to Don Bolden, three to Waterhouse, who had one less corner kick than Don Bolden with six and also had the majority of the possession done the holding at 55 percent we're here with the man of the match here cockins from water house um, good defensive display from you what do you make of your other teammates performance today well it was a good one but we didn't finish our chances we stick to the game plan press win off battles one-on-one -on -one battles that's it stay compact Go to the game. Well, your first draw of the season. All the best going forward. Yes, thank you. Right, there you have it, man of the match for Waterhouse. Good defensive, solid defensive display from Cockins and uh, giving uh, this man here.